stop moving to Austin. Please stop moving here. Do not, under any circumstances, move to Austin. Are you hearing me? Do not move here unless, of course, you use me as your realtor. I know, I know, shameless self-promotion. Seriously though, don't even think about moving to Austin unless you know the number one reason why it's not a good decision. I'm Nick Garcia, your favorite Austin realtor, and in today's video, I'm revealing the number one reason why people should stop moving to Austin. By now, we all know that Austin has a lot to offer, like awesome coffee shops, delicious local restaurants, and the perfect brunch spots. Never-ending outdoor activities like hiking, bike trails, cycling routes, and swimming holes. Friendly people, various cultures, and a unique vibe that you cannot find anywhere else. But mover beware. There are also many reasons why you should not move to Austin. Before I reveal the number one reason why you should definitely not move to Austin, I have to make sure you don't already have me figured out. The number one reason why you should not move to Austin has nothing to do with Austin traffic. Traffic will literally bottleneck at any time of the day when a large number of cars need to change their relative position, such as the morning, the evening, meal times, last call, weekends, and holidays. If it's raining, everyone forgets how to drive. And if there's a chance of freeze, it's best just to stay home. And if there's snow, the National Guard may or may not be showing up. Not to mention all the extra special events that come with living in such an active and centrally located city, like marathons, conventions, uh, state level competitions, and the all important festival season, which lasts roughly March to October. And the number one reason to not move to Austin has nothing to do with the heat. The brutal heat of the central Texas sun from June to August is more than a lot of people can bear. Many people spend the summer rapidly scuttling between cars and buildings trying to minimize their time in the scorching temperatures and embracing the sweet escape of air-conditioned space. Central Texas weather, especially starting in October to March, can be interesting to say the least. You can literally never pack up your winter or summer clothes. You'll be bundled up in the morning in the 30s or low 40s, and by 5 p.m. you'll be sweating in the upper 80s. It's crazy. How about the mosquitoes? No, that shouldn't scare you. It's not like you'll get West Nile virus or anything. It's not even the rattlesnakes, poisonous spiders, or bats. Yes, I said bats. You're probably thinking I'm going to say to not move to Austin because of the allergens. Everyone will think you have the virus that shall not be named because of a YouTube algorithm, because a few months out of the year when in fact you just have cedar fever and unfortunately you'll, be, you'll also be dipping into your house down payment on with buying allergy medications. Okay, okay, you've waited long enough for the number one reason why you should not move to Austin and please ignore all the other reasons to not move here. Because the number one reason why you should not move to Austin is because you will drive yourself crazy with decision fatigue trying to find out where in Austin to live. See what I did there? There are so many amazing neighborhoods in Austin, charming suburbs, gorgeous downtown condos, great schools, delicious restaurants, and of course, the awesome people. Ever since I moved to Austin 11 years ago, the first thing that I was really drawn to were the unique, eclectic, fun, and friendly people all over the city in all walks of life. I moved to Austin a single guy with a few friends, and now I'm a married man with three awesome kids, two dogs, and thousands of friends. Not to mention a thriving real estate business where I get to interact and meet people moving to Austin and the ones already living here, which usually involves them just wanting to move to a different part of the area. Sure, the traffic is pretty bad, and sometimes it feels like you're living on the surface of the sun in the summer, and some of the best restaurants you have to book out at least two weeks in advance. I know, first world problems, but overall, I believe the pros outweigh the cons of living in Austin. I hope you don't feel like I did the old clickbait switcheroo with my video title, since I did actually provide some cons of living in Austin. I love my city, and I love helping people find the perfect place in Austin or around Austin to call home. Give me a call at 512-799-7950 and let's get your home search started right away.